What's up, babe? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if this is your very first time here. So today, we are going to be doing a beginner's makeup starter kit. So any of you guys who are complete beginners, you don't know where to start, or if you've started a little bit and you just want to know exactly what you need for a basic face, I'm talking brushes and products, then this is the video for you. We are also going to be doing a tutorial using everything that is in the kit as well. So before we hop into it, please make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet so that you are updated when new videos come out. Also make sure that you hit that notification bell as well so that you are updated when new videos go up. All right y'all, let's do it. So what's crazy is that I just realized I don't have this video on my channel. What's wrong with me? <laughs> But I haven't done a Makeup for Beginners video in a while, sis, so hopefully this one will be a good resource for some of you guys, because I know a lot of you guys that are subscribed to me are beginners in makeup. So I felt like this was going to be something that was really helpful. So really quick, I do want to go over the brushes in particular that are included in this kit, because there's only a few of them and we are going to be using them throughout the tutorial, so I want you to know first which ones we're going to be needing. And like I said, this is for beginners. Very, 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 very basic. You ain't gotta use all the brushes that I use. That's why I picked out a good five or six brushes that would be perfect for everything that you need. First brush you need is a foundation blending brush, obviously. This one is from Il Maquillage, but the one I always use is from e.l.f. But this is the brush that you wanna make sure that you have in order to blend out your foundation. The next brush you need to make sure you have is a big fluffy face brush. This is for powder application to set the entire face. This can also be for blush. This can also be for bronzer. This one in particular is a Morphe 401 brush. I'm trying to like limit what we need and not like go cam with everything that I might be using. <laughs> the next brush I would say you need to have is an angle brush. This also can be used for blush and bronzer. Honestly, I feel like this one is an optional one. If you have these two, anyway, if you have these two, I don't think you necessarily need to need this one, but if you wanna use a different brush for like bronzer and blush, then this one would be one that you need. The next brush I would say is a brush that looks like this. It is a really big blending brush. You can use this for eyes, you can use this for highlighter, like on the cheeks. This can be used to dust a color onto the eyes if you just want a wash of a color. This in particular is the Sigma Soft Blend 30 brush, but it's pretty much just a big old blending brush to be honest. Next, you need two eyeshadow brushes and that's it. The first one I would say is a nice regular blending brush. That would be perfect for blending out a crease color, a deeper crease color. This one in particular is from MOTD. It's their build and blend brush. And the next one is a shader brush. So this one in particular can be used to push color onto the lid. And this one is from BH Cosmetics and it's my Ray Ray. And this is another example of the shader or the sweeper brush for the lid. So something like that. It's kind of like the same shape. And then an optional brush that you might need is a detail brush. A brush with a small tip, maybe to like put highlighter in your inner tear ducts or something like that. So I'm gonna sit our optional brushes to the side. <laughs> so last for an applicator, we do wanna make sure we have a nice sponge. A beauty blender is preferred. <laughs> this one in particular is from Haley's. Um, I also love the one from Ofra. There are some drugstore ones that are nice and affordable that work wonders as well. I believe the e.l.f. brush, I'm told, is amazing. So you make sure you have a sponge for blending. And as far as makeup products, we gonna go ahead and hop right into this face. <laughs> there are some products that are used in a normal face that I am not going to be using today because I wanted to keep real basic, real simple, real cute for the girls that just want a nice basic face ain't trying to get all technical and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my brows because you guys know I always start with my brows, but I feel like this part is very much individual, you know? Some people scoped out their brows and ain't got none like me. Some people do have brows and maybe they just go in with a brow gel or something like that so you need a brow product in general in your kit but some of us don't really need it or use it in that case I would say that it is an optional thing because not everybody is going to need a brow product 
and you know a brush to sculpt out the brows dot 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 because if you already have brows you don't want to sculpt your brows then you don't need a brush to sculpt your brows you know i usually will use a brow pencil and then i'll go in with my concealer to sculpt out my brows what i'm doing is just to make sure i show you guys the full face but brows to me are very much relative to the person so you might need it you might not the first thing that is extremely important to have in your kit is a good primer the one i'm using is my laura mercier foundation primer but there are a lot of affordable primers higher end primers but you need one that fits your skin tight if you're oily you might want to get a matte primer if you have dry skin you might want to get an illuminating or hydrating primer if you don't use spf in your skincare you might want to get an spf primer you know you just want to make sure you have a primer i feel like beginners sometimes will take out primer as a step or as a necessity and that's not something that you want to take out at all <laughs> because it works as a barrier between your makeup and your skin it does make the application a lot smoother than putting it right on top of bare skin especially if you have a lot of texture on your skin and i don't rub my my primer in like lotion like completely like lotion <laughs> I kind of leave a little bit of a film on top so that I can feel that barrier. And for me, that works a lot better than rubbing it in like you trying to get rid of some ash between your fingers. <laughs> Next, obviously, we have our foundation. I'm going to be using my NARS Natural Radiant Foundation, and this one is in the shade Macau. But my recommendation for beginners of how to actually put on the foundation is to just, especially if you have a pump, is to just pump a couple of pumps on your hand. I would say two to start off. <laughs> and then take your foundation blending brush and dip it into that and start to go in circular motions on your face. The other way I would say is to put dots all over your face and then blend it out like that. But if you don't want to like get your fingers dirty and stuff like that, then maybe you don't wanna do that method. But that is also an option. That way you kind of have it evenly spread out throughout the face and then you can go in with circular motions to blend it out. But either way, both of these I feel is really, really good application techniques because you're able to really build up the coverage where you want it but the circular motions is better than doing it like this because you are applying and blending at the same time so <laughs> i feel like that is like the perfect way to apply like me i need me another coat <laughs> so i'm gonna take some more maybe a pump and a half back on my hand and I'm just going to first put it all over from the brush and then go in with circular motions and blend it. I'm assuming that most of you guys have seen my Makeup for Beginners video. I think everybody in a mama done seen that video now. <laughs> I feel like some people in the comments kind of took that video wrong. The point of that video was not to say, hey, if you're a beginner, this is everything you need. This is everything you need to know. This is all the details, dot, dot, dot. It was an extremely detailed video. But the purpose of that video was to inform beginners of everything that goes into the makeup process and exactly how you use it why it's important like it was like super detailed so that somebody who just don't know nothing <laughs> can come there and get all the education that they need it wasn't to say hey you're a beginner you need all of this to get a basic face that was not what that was for because i covered everything this video is more about, you know, the basic, bare minimum <laughs> of stuff that you need to do a full face. But if you've already watched that video, then you know why we need certain things, you know certain tidbits, tips and tricks and stuff like that. And that was the point. Cause some of y'all was going off on me in them comments talking about girl beginners. This ain't for beginners. <laughs> <laughs> but in, in reality, it was just as an explanation for those who do not know. Because we can't just assume people know stuff. Because they don't. <laughs> Another quick beginner tip before we move on, girl, please blend into your hairline, sis. <laughs> it depends on how much you wash your hair and stuff like that. But usually when I have like parts and stuff, I don't have none now. But if I have like a part down the middle, like I'll slightly dip in there with the corner. Like I just want everything to be the same color. I don't like the idea of my whole face being one color and then I'm super bright in my hairline. I don't like that. So I do like tap over a little bit just to make sure everything is the same. Trust me, people can see that. <laughs> and you also want to make sure you are blending 
underneath your neck make sure there's no lines of demarcation but that is the reason why i think this is the perfect type of brush to blend your foundation next we have concealer as a beginner i would do one concealer either you want to highlight to you know bring dimension and make certain parts of your face lighter or you want to really conceal and go in with a concealer that is your skin complexion i do like to highlight so the one i'm using is the maybelline fit me concealer and this is in the shade cafe but the reason that you might want to actually use a concealer that's your shade is everybody doesn't like the light under eye thing kim k back in the day she's the one who kind of made that real popping you know what i'm saying and it just became like a basic makeup look pretty much but everyone doesn't like that so you can go in with a concealer that's your your shade but i did get a question on my video a couple days ago asking can you just use a foundation that's lighter <laughs> you know or i guess to big piggyback off of that in my own mind i would think it would make sense to ask if you do need a concealer that's just the same color, why even put it on at all? <laughs> but what you gotta realize is concealer and foundation do have different formulas. So concealer is a formula that's a lot thicker than foundation because it is meant to cover imperfections. So while your foundation is meant to like create an even skin tone color, um, your concealer is meant to cover other issues traditionally that's what it's for but obviously we use it for other reasons now <laughs> but i use it to cover up my dark circles of course but i also use it to highlight my face and kind of just bring dimension and different colors and shades into my face these are the basic places that i go into with my concealer i would say as a beginner you only need one leave the contouring and the deeper color girl you don't need all that that's my opinion <laughs> so i would say as a beginner 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 you only need one concealer and especially if it is a lighter concealer you can use it to prime your eyes and you good to go but yeah i'm taking my sponge and i am just going to start to blend out when you blend you just want to pat the skin where it meets the foundation so that there's no line of demarcation in my personal opinion blending with a sponge is like necessary <laughs> I don't really understand how people blend with other stuff. I can do it, I guess now because I've been doing makeup for so long. But as a beginner, girl, I need something to do the work for me. <laughs> and for me, it's the sponge. I need this sponge to work for a sister. So that's why I think it's so important to have a good, nice, soft sponge in your kit. And your sponge needs to be wet. That's one of the things I forgot to say in my makeup for beginners video. You need the sponge to be not wet, damp. It needs to be damp. Um, you need to wring it out. It does not need to be dripping. If you squeeze it, no water should come out. It should be just damp to the touch, you know? Do not use a sponge that is dry because it can create holes in your makeup, splotches, you know? You always want to make sure it is damp and clean <laughs> before you start using it every time make sure it was clean just google how to clean a beauty blender and it's really really easy as long as you got some dish soap at home you good <laughs> so as you can see with the lighter concealer we have created some dimension to the face right here you can still see the foundation shade but down the nose it's lighter it's a little bit lighter here than it is right here just with the lighter concealer alone so that's why i said this is the only thing that you need if you are a basic 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 girl that's all you need sis next you need a setting powder that is not optional <laughs> it's not optional you need a setting powder because i've demonstrated on my channel before like girl if you just go out like this you're gonna have all types of creases on your face it's gonna melt it's gonna be easy for it to come off easy and that ain't what you want depending on your skin complexion you can choose your color thank god now we do have different options as far as colors of powders but you can use a translucent powder regardless of your skin complexion to do everything it's just about application and how much you use and put it on your face <laughs> So today I am going to use kind of a skin tone powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in Medium 30 powder. And I am going to use this loose powder to set under my eyes as well as to set my face. I'm gonna say that one more time. You need to set your face, period. 
<laughs> so before I go in with my powder, you always want to make sure that the creases under your eye are nice and smooth. You might want to look up and try to continue looking up until you get that powder there so that you don't set those creases into your face. This is basic, y'all watch me, y'all know I say it all the time. But I'm gonna take my sponge, I'm gonna dip it into my powder. I'm gonna take the excess, put it on the back of my hand, and then go in underneath my eye. I did do a video on setting versus baking. We are setting, meaning we are just pushing the powder into the under eye, but we don't want to actually be able to see the powder. That is baking. When you just let it sit there, we are wanting to just let it set it. If you have more of a yellow undertone, you can use a banana powder. Um, I don't use banana powder that much unless it's like not like a banana color, but I always go in like this really hard with the powder on the on the places where I put that concealer. If you have dry skin, you don't want to do the sponge. You might want to just do a brush and you can use this big brush for that where you could just push it into the skin like that. Cause if you're dry, this might dry you out. But I am oily in that area so it's helpful for me to really pile it on the rest of the face i'm going to take my big brush i'm dipping it into the lid here that has some powder on it i'm gonna blow it and i'm going to lightly dust over the rest of my face it's gonna set all that liquid and cream into place to where it does not move and you also want to always make sure that you are done putting on cream products on the face before you go in with powder because once it's powdered up sis it ain't going nowhere. And putting cream on top of powder ain't cute. So you never want to go back in with any kind of cream products on top. <coughs> on top of the powder. Make sure you snatch the way you want to be snatched before you start to powder it up. Our next product that we are going to use is a bronzer. I would say that a bronzer is necessary only because right now we're looking a little light, a little stark. We can use a little warming up of the face. So the one I have is actually a palette. Um, this is from Alamar Cosmetics. I'm using this one. Oh. I'm using the one right here in the middle. Hold up y'all, my lips dry. I've been loving this Fresh Beauty Sugar Coconut Hydrating Lip Balm, girl. Good, nice, it smells good. Smell like it tastes good. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm not the only one who thinks like that. I ain't gonna taste it though. <laughs> I'm gonna use this one, but of course there are a lot of single pan bronzers. Something like this might be confusing for beginners because you're like, okay, what do I use these two for? So I'm just using this because this is what I grabbed. But as far as bronzer is concerned, you wanna make sure that you get a nice bronzer shade that is some shades darker than you. Usually bronzer has a redder tone, but also that also depends on your undertone. But for me, a red tone works. And of course the purpose is not to contour. It is just to bring color back into the face. So I'm gonna go into this middle one with cinnamon sugar and I'm going to use the big fluffy brush that we use. I'm gonna dip into it and I'm going to start to put it under the apples of my cheeks, just kind of in circular motions. We don't want to get all this area. We kind of want to shape the cheekbone. We're bringing it in like that. And then I'm also going to work it back into my hairline around the perimeter of my face. If you want more precision, that's why I said this is an option because it kind of will give you more of a precise look versus this kind of giving you more of a, you know, fluffy application, you know, not very precise. But this is the difference between bronzer and no bronzer. If you are nose contourer, which I am, this is the time to do it. You can contour your nose with your bronzer and you can use your blending brush for your eyes for this so you can just go in with a little bit of bronzer on both sides of the nose doesn't have to be extremely precise just to kind of give you a shape that you're looking for and if you want to blend that out just take your sponge around the perimeter of it and blend that darker color by patting not swiping because <laughs> you don't want to take your makeup off. Before we get to eyes, I'm going to go ahead and finish off the face. The next thing we're going to use is highlighter. Highlighter, in my opinion, is optional depending on if you want to blind the girls or not. I usually want to blind the girls, so it's, it's up my alley. <laughs> so I am going to take this brush that I said is for highlighting, and I'm this is, and also this is my Maybelline Master Chrome because it is nice and bright. 
I'm gonna take this and I am going to lightly dust my nose. I'm also going to lightly dust on top of my lip. I'm also going to lightly dust on the top of my cheekbones with this. The more you hold it down here, the less control you have of it. So when you're trying to like dust something and you don't want it to look like a straight line, go and hold your brush down here and just hit it. Hit it on the top of the cheekbone like that and just move it around. <laughs> so that it could be nice and blended out. And don't ask me why I do my mouth like that. <laughs> I guess to stretch the skin out, I don't know. But I always go in right here at the bridge of the nose as well, just to bring some highlights and, you know, some natural glow to the skin, girl. It's pulling together. Next for beginners, I would recommend having a go-to palette. And for me, I would say get a nice neutral palette because obviously if you're a beginner, you ain't doing a whole lot of color, you ain't doing a whole lot of extra stuff. But you do want to have a variety of things that you can use in order to play with some different neutrals and shimmers and mattes and stuff like that. So for me, I believe that the best beginner palette is the Bare Necessities palette from ColourPop. You have everything that you need in this palette to do basic eye looks, regardless of your complexion, regardless of your undertone, everything is here. So it's my recommendation that this is like the only eyeshadow palette you need as a beginner if you are just going for neutrals. So if we're hopping into the eyes, which I'm gonna go ahead and bring y'all a little bit closer per usual. But the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my eye. I'm gonna take my concealer, same one that I used for my face, and just pat a little bit on each eye. I'm gonna take my sponge, same one that I've been using, and just pat that shade in. But this is just to give a nice clean base for the eye. Am I ashy, y'all? Here y'all go, not telling me when I'm ashy. I thought we was over this. Y'all can't be trusted. Um, for those of you guys who ain't with the eyeshadow, this is your stopping point, sis. Go ahead, blend this out. Go ahead and put some powder on top, either with your sponge or with a brush, you know, dust it over with a brush. You ready to go. <laughs> That's all you need. Um, you know, then your mascara, your lashes, or whatever it is that you want to do. But what you don't want to do, if, if this is your stopping point, is not put on concealer. You want to kind of make the eyes match the face. If you just leave your regular skin, it's not going to be looking as good as it could look if you put on concealer. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> I think I want to do just like a taupey eye. Just real simple, real easy, real quick. So with my blending brush, I'm going to dip into the shade Velveteen here in the corner. And I'm just going to work that shade into my crease. Circular motions right here on the edge. You always want to make sure you blow your brush right before you go into it in the corner. And I'm bringing it a little bit over my lid there and just working it. So next I'm dipping my shader brush into the shade Pricks Fix right here on, on the bottom. And I'm just going to put that on my lid towards the edge, going a little lighter as it blends into the darker shade. And that's it. Nice, quick, simple, and easy. And that's why I said I love this palette for beginners is because you can do this combination as far as where we're putting the shadows with different colors and that way you have variety it's basic but you know at least you doing a little some some you know <laughs> it's actually unnecessary to go in on the bottom lash line if you would like to you can um and if you do want to do that you can go in with the deeper color with your shader brush just wipe your shader brush off on something before you go into that darker color and you can just easily just do a little bit of shadow right on the edge at the bottom optional if you want to have an eyeliner you don't need an eyeliner but if you are a beginner and you want to play with eyeliner and do a wing or something then by all means do it but I don't think this is a necessary item in your beginner kit but it is cool to have on hand if you want but from there you would just go in with your mascara for some this would be false lashes and for others it's mascara so whatever may you but if you do use your natural lashes and not fake lashes, I would say mascara is a must because it really just brings femininity into your look. But for me, sis, it's the lashes, girl. It's the lashes for me, girl. <laughs> so of course, if you are a lashes girl, then you not only need lashes, but you need lash glue. And my favorite lash glue is the duo one. But this one I'm using is from Tati Lash. And the lashes we are using are from V Lux by I Envy, which is a Kiss brand. And I uh, believe this is Style 07. Bottom lash line, you do not need a liner on the bottom lash line for beginners. Unnecessary, don't need it. Last two products, setting spray 
and lips. You want to make sure you have a setting spray and the reason that you need setting spray is because it kind of just sets everything into the skin, makes it look more like skin versus cakey. And depending on what setting spray you're using, it does help to just keep your makeup in place all day. It makes it look newer longer. My most favorite one of course would be the All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay. That will keep your makeup on all day. If you have on, especially if you have completely matte eyes, you want to cover up your eyes. Also if you put on mascara already, cover up your eyes. Usually you're supposed to spray before mascara because <laughs> that's an easy way to get like mascara all over your eyes but I'm gonna go ahead and spray. And you always want to dry down your setting spray. Either like this or you can go in and press it into the skin with your sponge. Last is lips, and that is relative. Honestly, a good gloss is all you need. Or, you know, a good matte lipstick or anything like that. Today, I'm just gonna go into a gloss, a clear gloss at that, because we are basic today. We wanna look like a cute little baddie running our errands, looking cute on the weekend, whatever. And this is my So Juicy lip gloss from ColourPop. And that is our basic face with our makeup kit. So right here, I'm just gonna leave a nice little list of everything that we did mention in the kit. It also will be in the description box so you guys can reference that as well. And we done. All right, love, so that wraps up today's video. I hope this video was extremely helpful for my beginners. I know there is a lot of beginners following me, so I wanted to make sure that I gave you a reference for every single thing that you need for a beautiful, basic face. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought. Also, make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.